I'm going to address briefly every drama thing that I think uh, Demon Mama. Um, uh oh. I, speaking of people who do this worse, Hassan. Uh oh. Um, do I have iframes Destiny. on my horse? Um, Destiny, that's okay. me. I'm going to paraphrase Destiny here, but okay. nothing that I'm about to say is a smear. It's, oh, of course. Uh, literally, just a <laughs> totally thing that he accurate. said about himself. Of course. Uh, Destiny does not care inherently about any minority groups. I don't want to be your fucking ally or any cringe cuck shit like that. I could give a fuck less. Act like Kiwi Farmers. That's not a joke. You're free to go and look at Destiny's subreddit. They I don't just think he knows. One of the reasons why Vosh is probably particularly mad here is because his community... He's so scared of me, dude. Jesus. We need to listen to Vosh talking shit. Oh, yeah, we can listen to these, I guess. Is this one the unhinged one? Reddit? for that which again i don't do it for the credit but it's just it's just weird because after the pcrf stream like you know it felt like it defined the positivity in the community for a while it was like a good rallying cry i guess for for good stuff here um but obviously that got overshadowed by the jk rowling stuff and you know it all kind of spiraled out from there um <clears throat> and i felt a bit upset at you guys about that but then i realized the second thing i realized was that i had forgotten about it too I forgot about it. I had forgotten about the charity stream, you know? Um, and uh, 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 and something occurred to me, uh, along with some advice from uh, TJ Kirk, um, ever ever the, the, the advisor <clears throat> to me, <laughs> which is that I feel like there's something wrong with the way this community has been uh, uh, conducted for a while, you know? Um, I feel like there are problems. There were like nefarious elements that I wanted to, uh, to, to deal with. So I, it, because it was like 2 a.m., I slapped, a, I, it was too late for me to contact my editors to ask for like a real thumbnail. So I just went on Clip Studio Paint and I just did the new arc. But anyway, here we are. And it's just, you know, it's just a, a, a video that is streamed. But, okay, we need to purge the toxicity within see here's here's the issue yeah um here's the problem okay okay the problem is that i am an exceptional person okay and i have an exceptional community full of exceptional people okay i think we're pretty great really and in spite of that i feel like so much of this community mm -hmm. and the content that i produce is reactive uh, I defend myself against other people, you know? Okay. Uh, it's been a while since I've taken charge. It feels like I'm always defending myself, you know, against an onslaught of... And, and the, the defenses that I put forward, I think, are valid, by the way. You know, I don't think that I'm wrong to do that, wrong in the stuff that I do or that I say. But I feel like, in terms of, like, the community perspective, what does it mean to be a member of this community today. Well, it mostly means being hated by everyone online and getting banned in every left-leaning community. That's what it means to be Aww. a fan of me today. Poor you know, back during the 2020 primaries, being a fan of me meant something. It felt like we were really fighting for something, you know? It felt like there was a real effort being made, um, a strong, you know, community cohesion. And I saw on my Reddit the other day, I saw people liked a little rant that I did last stream. Just some anarchist. <laughs> I, I, you know, I just got mad at a chatter, and I talked about the, you know, the 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 unimportance of national boundaries and stuff like that. And people in the Reddit posted that, and they posted that not just because it was you know well spoken and thank you, but I think also because it was affirmative. You know, it was like a positive. It was something to rally around rather than something to defend against. So it came to me, you know, and. I think the cum pledge was great, but I think I think we can do better. Okay? I think it's time to begin the fortress arc. All right? For too long we've been fighting in the open field. Okay? For too long we've been battling out, all right? No trenches, no fortifications. We've just been out there in the fields and the forests, okay? It's time, all right? It's it's time to build the tower, all right? It's time it's time to 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 mine the quarries. All right? We're going to build a fortress. The Voshite fortress. And to that end, we have to focus on affirmative community behavior. 
making Destiny. things a rather minutes. than responding to things. You know, we please. have to hold on. X. What? I bought a couple of lists. Can I get a gym flyer? I don't hold on later. Okay, Jesus. One second. To decide our art making things rather than responding to things. You know, we have to decide our arc. We can't let other things decide the arc that we're on. We have to make choices. We have to give people in the community a reason to be here other than being right. Because if you guys, I mean, if you guys want to, at least in my opinion, be correct about stuff, then you can just listen to me and then like not be a part of the community. But I, the community, I think, can be much better. I think we have a uniquely good community. Like the people here are upstanding in a moral sense. I mean, don't get me wrong. You guys get on my nerves sometimes. Damn, but... does that sound like a cult or what? Holy fuck. Um, really, I've been in a lot of online communities, and I've seen a lot of them from the outside. And this is a good one. This is a very, very good one. So to that end, we're purging the toxicity from within me. I'm going to address, briefly, every drama thing that I think we've been bogged down by, interminably, in the recent past. And as far as I'm concerned, it's settled. I'm sure it'll come up in the future, but I don't want to obsess over it, you know? Because if we were to obsess over how wrong everyone else is, every wrong done to me or what, I mean, we could do that forever, for years and years and years, okay? Uh, so I think it's important, you know, the fortress, we lay the first stone, okay? Clearly, beginning, obviously, with the JKR situation. There are a lot of really good people in the online left who are, I think, the well has been poisoned in their, in, the, in their minds with regards to their perceptions of me to the point where they are, when they see drama pertaining to me, they are, um, there's an entirely different version of myself in their head that they're responding to. Like, whatever leads a person to equate my moral worth to J.K. Rowling's moral worth I genuinely don't think that can come about from a person actually knowing faith. what I care about or what I do or what I believe or what I say or anything to that effect. And to that end, I'm so clearly obviously a better person than her. No matter how wrong everyone else is, and God, are they wrong? No matter how wrong everyone else is, the only way out of this pit is to give them a better narrative. It is so tempting, and God, I want to, and I do defend myself, and I will defend myself against bad arguments, but a better narrative has to be given, you know? The well has to be unpoisoned. There's just, there's no way around that. You can't, now, it, it, it may be frustrating, but it, it, it's, it's just necessary, mm -hmm. you know? Um, we aren't taking the yellow? No, I was right about everything that I said, in spite of me being correct and me being the wronged one here, I will still attempt to amend their misconceptions. Amelia, I will, right, they, they strike me, but I reach forward and I, and I gently brush the spider off their shoulder. You see, I help them even when I'm under attack. <laughs> that is what I want to do. Oh my okay? God. And we will do it. Uh, with regards to uh, Cat Black, I think that her behavior is very weird and judging from what I have seen of her, I genuinely think that she is of low moral character. <laughs> and Damn. I uh, do not feel like that should be excused or overlooked simply because she, is, she is. has a long history of trans advocacy. Oh. There are plenty of people who have long histories of ad advocacy for marginalized groups who have serious problems with their, uh, you know, behavior or their moral underpinning and oh, Jesus. she just gives me a really bad vibe so yeah i just i don't yeah just no uh contrapoints uh contrapoints is a uh, a brilliant woman it would be stupid of me to deny this uh i do not deny this um her content is exceptional and i will continue to watch and praise it assuming it maintains its quality which i have no reason to believe that it won't she is also unequivocally <laughs> wrong here and she wronged Oof. me. Wrong. But smart people can do bad things. Uh, and in the grand scale of things, given the fact that she was acting to defend a friend, uh, I don't think this should be considered some kind of um, 
ultimate, you know, denunciation of her character. You know, ContraPoints is often in her live streams and in her videos and in essentially all the content that she produces indicated that she's... This this isn't meant to be a sideline, but, you know, uh, Caddy, I guess, I don't, I don't know how to say... I mean, she says it about herself. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I'm to be impugned for that, but um, a, a person who, let's say, plays it um, a little bit fast and loose with um, friendships and emotional states sometimes... I don't know, mean girl's behavior? I, However you want to frame that, I feel like I'm essentially just repeating stuff that she's jokingly said about herself, but given that, I think it explains her behavior. Uh, it's very disappointing. I uh, I look forward, maybe one day in the future, possibly, to... Um, oh, this stupid shit. Uh, see, seeing that relationship with her improve, I don't expect it to, um, but she is wrong, and she will have to apologize uh, if that is to happen <laughs> bend the knee um, noah sampson uh i it's really difficult for me to make like out what noah Keep sampson life, is Working or means Andy. or intends or plans to do because it feels like noah sampson is incredibly the negative term here would be spineless but i think if we're to be more charitable and also more accurate i think that noah sampson is just very susceptible to input think. from people around him. Oh. I don't know if that's just a product of him being new to the space or mm -hmm. of being younger or if it's like a cowardice thing or whatever. I don't think that he's dumb. A lot of people in my community have said that he's dumb. I don't actually think that. I think that snark when applied um, when applied unwisely uh, mm -hmm. can often come across as, as dumb because it gives the impression of uh, a, a sort of confident ignorance of a subject, you know. Snark is difficult to pull off when you're talking about, like, political subjects, because if you frame it incorrectly or pose those arguments in a way that sort of looks over nuance that's really important to the thing you're being snarky about, then it can make you look really dumb. And again, the well is so, so poisoned with me. For sure. We'll see how things play out with him. I don't know if it's going to go super negative. I don't know if it's going to go positive. I genuinely don't know. I have no way of knowing. Uh, Demon Mama. Um, Uh-oh. I genuinely think that Demon Mama She's a good is person. like a good person. Yeah. But holy shit, her grandstanding arc needs to like... It's not even an arc. It's her entire like career. Demon Mama has enjoyed uh, success in being a loud and aggressive advocate for the things in which she believes. And I think there's uh, something to admire there. But the fact remains that um, the longer you do this job, the longer course correction and the ability to engage in course correction is important. You understand? The longer you do something, the more L's one will accumulate. Everyone, oh, nice. including me. And when those things happen, when you accumulate L's, you need to have a process for being able to address them and respond to them. And when you grandstand so hard, when you Obama. posture... So How does audi Vasha's audience that... react to this? They'll always soy out. When he goes on these like really big indignant, although to be fair, um, I guess I can be indignant as well too, but anytime he's like super indignant, people are usually like super soying out. Oh, fuck. I have to see this is his true chat. <clears throat> we will drink only the clearest of glacial water. Not only Big do you scam. deny these, but you also essentially Wash like takes no L's. <laughs> gaslight and abuse people who point them out. Like you act instantly, you, you you act out like every like element of emotional abuse that you can, like in the short frame of a conversation to try to manipulate them into not pointing out. Like, look, we all have bad processes. There are people who do this worse. Um, so hopefully she improves in that respect, and we'll see how things go. Speaking of people who do this worse, Hassan. Uh-oh. Um, Hassan, look, at the end of the day, the majority of the things that Hassan <sighs> believes and stands Similar for to me. and argues for are things that I will agree with. Of course. The problem is that Hassan has absolutely no mechanism whatsoever for recognizing criticism. Absolutely none. I he can't. just, he doesn't. Okay, we're not hitting no that. Whoever said mechanism. that was fucking retarded. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think that he can treat, I, I don't think he can recognize criticism as good faith. I don't think he can. Like I, I don't, I don't know what like pre-existing biases are feeding into this. If it's all just like DGG harassment stuff or whatever, but whatever has led him to this point, um, he he. I, the problem is like for a long time We're I've wondered my using my horse. Uh, how what happens when he defends a really bad take? 
And then it happened with the Ukraine situation. And, you know, be, because, do you, yeah, do you remember the JXA stuff as well with the, Simon like, watching, uh, like, wa like, uh, 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 like, stealing content stuff? Like, any criticism that Hassan gets, like, instantly, like, full nuclear, the people criticizing him are bad people, they're bad faith, they're clout sharks. Um, he's right, everyone's trying to tear him down. He hardcore <laughs> guilt trips and, like, um, and, like, plays the victim. Uh, which mm. is ridiculous because, and I don't, I don't know. Like he needs to re be reminded of this. He is literally the largest political streamer in in, in the Western world. I don't. I'm only saying Western because I don't know if like China has like some gigantic political streamer that I don't know about. He might actually be the largest political streamer on Earth, on the planet ever in all of human history. Wow. In which case, like holy fuck, he needs to tone that shit way down, way, 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 way down. Like. Oh my god. Yeah, thank you. People oh in China my god. Um, he needs to tone that way, way, way down. He can't keep playing the victim every time he gets criticism. It's ridiculous, okay? He needs to tone that shit down. Okay? Um, okay, so that's those groups. Um, Do I have iframes Destiny. on my horse? Um, Destiny, that's okay. me! Destiny was recently banned from that's Twitch. That's me! Uh, nobody knows why. Because Twitch is a horrible platform that is incredibly opaque with their moderation. Um, How am I so supposed to dodge this? I don't know. Uh, it's possible he was banned for briefly having Nick Fuentes on stream. That's a not possible. Streamer, no. Uh, before getting off Twitch, it was like a 10 minute period. If that's the case, then I guess you could argue that's a fair ban because that's an explicit like violation of the rules. Um, with regards to um, that ban, though, it seems like the people in his community are saying that it's actually because he said trans women shouldn't compete with cis women in sports or something like that. Uh, if that is the case, if that is the reason why he was banned, I would find that incredibly disappointing. Uh, while I disagree with Destiny's perspective on this, I do not think it's appropriate for Twitch to ban people over uh, just stated positions on contentious issues like that. Like, I, that seems like an incredibly difficult line to maintain. Uh, Okay, I just need to get away from him, I think. Like, run away. Ultimately, the problem here is that Destiny has done so many fucking reprehensible things in the past month alone in that I'm not even fully alone. aware of because he does them so often that keeping appraised of them would take more time. Like, I'm playing Elden Ring. I just, I don't have time. Um, he does so many awful things, at least has in the recent past, that for a lot of them, I would think his ban was justified. When he was doing his, like, rape apologia arc and, like, laughing and saying that, like, a woman who was raped was a retarded child... Like, if he that's got banned exactly, from Twitch for that, that sounds exactly I would have like thought, happened. yeah, no shit. Like, if he got banned from Twitch during that, I would have thought, like, yeah, okay. Like, I would, you know? But he didn't. He didn't get banned from Twitch for that. He's gotten banned for Twitch now for reasons that I don't know. I, I don't know. It's impossible to know with him. It's genuinely not possible to know, like, what this is actually about. Um, honestly, I just think that Destiny is a transphobe. People in his community will argue against it True. because uh, he's had pro-trans positions in the past and even does currently. But let me um, <laughs> he's a pro -trans let me talk to you very briefly about that. Yeah. Very, very briefly. Let's How can hear you justify it. that? Just okay. you watch, person who joined the site in the last 24 hours. Oh, boy. All right, Artemy, you getting out of here. Oh! Cool. Okay. Wait, this seems really broken. You get a lot of iframes jumping go. off the horse. So, I'm going to paraphrase Destiny here, but okay. nothing that I'm about to say is a smear. It's, oh, of course. Uh, literally just a <laughs> totally thing that he accurate. said about himself. Of course. Uh, Destiny does not care inherently about any minority groups whatsoever. He cares about the pursuit of the truth, truthful positions. He said that himself. He said it for years, too. Like, uh, That's fairly He cares true, first and foremost about finding the truth, which sounds nice, you know. But... Um, uh, he said for years as well that he's a sociopath, which is kind of a warning sign when people say that about themselves. Kind of a meme, because everybody correct, accuses but, me of being you know. a sociopath. Um, he said uh, uh, many times uh, that uh, he, he is, he's, a, he's an egoist, um, that his moral, um, his moral biases are towards his own self-betterment. No, you know? Wait, what? Now, on their own, none of these things are inherently... But I'm trying to um, paint a picture here. ...are inherently wrong. The issue is how they combine. Yes. Let me explain, okay? Explain. So, when I talk about um, mm -hmm. all these political issues, yeah. it's because I have a political bias towards a set of principles derived from subjective axioms wow. that I want to oh, achieve boy. 
They involve equality. They involve, you know, human betterment, you know, blah de blah. I've nice talked about dragon. it a million times before. I have a what feels like an external set of processes and uh, destinations that I can refer to whenever I want the world, you know, when it, whenever I want to refer to my own beliefs. Now, obviously, these are still subjectively held values, the uh -huh. axioms. So oh, yeah, axioms. it's not like I have some objective truth marker okay. that I can figure out, but I think it's still useful. The issue with destiny is that, like, speaking frankly, yeah. if you distill it down to its truth, <sighs> destiny argues to feel smarter than other people. Um, <laughs> every position that he holds is... How do you get from... How do you get from all these random statements to Destiny argues to feel smarter than other people? What is it? What a worthless statement. What does that even mean? But okay. It's a product of his desire to satiate an emotional need to feel smarter than other people. That is absolutely the case. And he has essentially admitted this on stream before. Um, that's what happens when you are place. primarily interested in the pursuit of the truth, which, by the way, pursuit of the truth means pursuit of what you think is true, and you're <laughs> well, primarily no self-interested, and you argue in favor of self-interest. All this adds together to mean that he doesn't argue for trans rights because he believes in trans rights. He argues for trans rights because those positions, when held, are the easiest ones to defend they give him the greatest rhetorical and intellectual advantage against the people he argues against. But having pro-trans positions is not the same thing as being pro-trans. Usually they are. For most people, that is the case. But it's possible to be destiny, a person who argues in favor of most pro-trans positions, and then to spend a ton of time on Twitter quote-tweeting uh, trans accounts, accusing them of being groomers, accusing them of being pedophiles, accusing them of being sex pests, making fun of trans people's suicide attempts, going on a Twitter rant in which he defends continuing to make fun of people's uh, suicide attempts. <laughs> I uh, will for dope. You know, yeah, I will. It's it's possible. Can to it be, be the pro -trans case? trans position. Can it not be the case? And I understand for all you white guys out there that love this impulse shit. Don't you think it's possible to just like hate somebody without hating their identity? Like, if all of this was relating to, like, a black person, would I just be getting called racist instead? Like, why is it not possible that I could have all of these ideas and thoughts and mean things that I'm doing just because I don't like these particular people? Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm... This is so irritating. <sighs> but still transphobic. And anyone who thinks that's not possible... Do you guys not personally know, or at least on the internet know, somebody who argues in favor of feminist positions, but was still a misogynist? Is this really that unlikely? Of it, course it's not unlikely. Well, this wait, is actually what? a pretty common thing. There have been plenty of examples of people who argue, you know, um, in, in like a factual or logical sense, in favor of progressive positions, uh, but nonetheless have biases against those groups. My personal belief is not that Destiny hates trans people. It's that he and his community regard them with a kind of detached apathy. Essentially, Destiny thinks trans people are stupid ingrates who don't appreciate all the good he's done for trans people. And in that respect, because they have wronged him and his... So, the reason why... Okay, I have never... And I don't do this because it's fucking cringe, okay? I'm not ever trying to sit here and be like a fucking white savior for any group. That's why when I say I argue about things, I typically argue like, well, I just think these positions are true. I don't want to be your fucking ally or any cringe cuck shit like that. I could give a fuck less. That shit is cringy as fuck to me. Um, so I I'm not I'm not looking for credit there. Okay, I don't I don't care if people you know don't give me credit for like saving trans people on Twitch or any shit like that. But I certainly don't want the opposite. Right? I'm not sitting here to say that like I'm a fucking trans savior or the savior of, savior of black people on Twitch, but I'm not going to sit here and have people call me like transphobic and racist. I don't think that though I don't think that asking that I not be seen as like a racist or transphobic person is the same thing as wanting to be seen as their fucking savior. Like What why is this boss glitching so bad? Wait, where did my horse go? I don't know. Hold on. Fuck. I paused him and now I'm in a boss battle, so get fucked. Bias and priority is towards his well-being, 
Uh, they're functionally no different from the alt writers that he used to argue against. Uh, they're just another group of, you know, essentially subhuman internet detractors that he Keep can your life, pull out man. all Working the stops class, against. Um, yeah. I think that Destiny's moral compass is fucked. I think the warning signs have been there for years, but they've gotten infinitely worse in the past few years. And as a product of all this, I just don't care about him being banned from Twitch because he's done so many things that I would consider worthy of it that parsing out the specifics of how this ban took place when the Twitch ban is opaque and I don't actually know how he got banned from Twitch is... I just don't care. Which brings me to his community. Uh, it's psychotic. Um... I'm sorry, I can defer to objective truth on this one. Just go look at it. It's absolutely psychotic. <laughs> I what? The worst thing when people dip their toes into philosophy is when you get these like incredibly acidized statements of like, <laughs> well, uh, for defending that point, I mean, <laughs> it's just subjectively true. <laughs> and for that, I defer to the self evidenceness of the objective truthness of the uh, <laughs> proposition that I've made that is just <laughs> objectively, self evidently, objectively true. <laughs> like, uh, okay. <laughs> I I guess we we're just irony poisoned. Um, you can go look at the replies to anyone he argues with on Twitter. They are full of conservatives, alt writers, and Destiny fans who act like the former two, except they're better at concern trolls. Show some! They are absolutely insane. I genuinely, genuinely believe that a good portion of that community is just mentally ill. Um, not to say y'all aren't either, but, uh, you know, different degrees of harm. Uh, they are in, they are incredibly prone to brigading, uh, and they are the biggest, let's say, um, selectively forgetful people in the universe. Like, for example, they're like seething over Keffels briefly and tepidly for 30 seconds or so, saying that Destiny might have raped somebody because of his, like, rapestiny arc with the whole stealthing thing. Um, meanwhile, Destiny has not only said, but maintained for months that a friend of Keffels is a pedophile because she advocates for, like, trans kids being able to get on HRT. Like, calling a trans woman a pedophile because Why she can't he ever present my arguments honestly? I think that the, the point that I brought up, I think most reasonable people would agree with. What I said was that it's really fucking weird, sounds really pedophilic when you're on Twitter saying, like, I've given over 500 minors access to illegal drugs to change their sex. That sounds really weird. I'm sorry, bro. Like, you've got to be fucking mentally imprisoned, okay, in into some crazy fucking political hackery to not think that that doesn't sound really fucking weird. That is an incredibly fucking strange thing to brag about. Uh, but, like, he never brings up the context of that. He just says that I accuse, like, random trans people of being, um, of being pedophiles. That's not true. Um, and I, don't, I think I've even said as much. I doubt they're like, I don't think this person's... Jesus Christ. I don't know if this person is like a fucking pedophile, but that's just like, that's like an incredibly fucking weird, like quasi pedophile adjacent thing to get on fucking Twitter and say, okay? That's like, that's incredibly fucking weird. And I'll always stand by that. Advocating for trans children's rights to like get access to hormones is literally a far right talking point. But like, yeah, Keffel's retracted that point almost immediately. But, like, Destiny and his community will do anything or say anything about any people and justify it, and they'll gaslight you into thinking that you were the one who wronged him because they have a massive victim complex. It's fucking pathetic. Um, I have seen alt-right communities who, um, who, who have more spine with regards to defending the stuff that their, like, content creator makes or says. Um, Destiny can do or say anything, and the people in his community will bend over backwards, forget anything they have to, uh, There's like clips of this shit posted on like a daily uh, any, basis. Any statements but okay, they dude. need to like reframe reality. A little bit of projection as long as it there. allows them to um, pull out all, all the stops with you. And when they defend him, they really do sound like alt writers. Have you noticed how many people on um, uh, uh, in Destiny's community have been screeching the the transes came for him? Next they'll come for you. They said that to me. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Who the to me what? <laughs> <laughs> Are you just have it on copy and paste? Oh no, not when the, not when the online left and the trans community comes for me. Jesus. Oh, I I saw a person. Okay, so we watched this. This the the video is on my um second channel, but 
we saw destiny during the whole like rape apologia arc where like again he's rape literally apologia. just like laughing at a woman who was raped calling just her laughing. a retarded child attacking her over nothing literally she said nothing to him he yeah. just decided to, to attack, attack her, her. Like, to go just full force attack. and then later he like argued against me too and said women should shut up if they get like raped and not like talk about it on social media that sounds anyway, exactly like what i this. said that and sounds like, exactly like my position, for sure, absolutely. Out. And then somebody, a DGG, replied to that, saying, did you look at the context of those statements? My brother in Christ, no context was missing from those statements. What the fuck do you mean? We saw, what? That just sounds like I, stuff I, I, I would talk God, about. I swear to God, maybe this is my fault. Or Destiny actually, tells I think this is women Jordan to Peterson's shut the fuck up and get raped. That, just, do, okay? that really does sound when like a thing I would say. The whole context sure. thing is when a clip is out of context, you don't know what's preceding or following it, where you don't know whether or not it's being said as a joke or like if there's anything around it. Those were just statements he made. Like, like I swear to God, they, they, like they would look at like a, a New York Times article where they quote somebody famous saying something bad and go like, well, context? Like, my brother they said that like it, it's and, and, and anyway no context is missing here <laughs> but anyway they'll they'll pull out any rhetorical technique the rhetorical um, techniques they're oh, all master which debaters. brings me to um uh, uh -huh. my subreddit the purges will continue um 100 percent um dggers in terms of their willingness to raid and in terms of their moral like uh i don't know um what would I say? Pick, um, pick a really big word. Moral capacity, their ah, moral uh, standing, are, as far as I'm concerned, like on board with like alt right Nazis. raids, and yep. I just don't care. You can look over at like Destiny's subreddit, and there are people over there, like they literally act like kiwi farmers. That's not a joke. You're free to go and look at Destiny's subreddit. They I don't just think he knows act what like kiwi, kiwi farmers farmer so can look like. I don't think um, he has any idea. They don't use slurs the way kiwi farmers do sometimes, but in terms of their behavior and their seeming like adherence to reality they're pretty much on board with that so adherence yeah to the, the bands will continue like pretty much all the time um their their community is like desperate for their editor to release like a three-year-old clip he's um a, a three-year-old clip um one of the reasons if you don't know the context one of the reasons why vosh is probably particularly mad here is because his community got an official warning by the reddit admins for excessively brigading other communities. So he's probably feeling a little bit pissed off about that. And I think that's one of the reasons why he's like attacking my community so harshly here. Um, call it projection or diversion or I guess whatever fancy word you wanna use, but that's probably part of what's driving um, how incensed he is uh, for this particular clip. Of, um, of me talking with Destiny after the poppy drama, which I mean, they can if they want, they hold that over me. They try to hold things over me, which is very strange to me. Um, as if I haven't demonstrated to this point that I'm essentially like unsinkable. Like, what, like what could like at this point? Yeah. Oh yeah. Kiwi Farms trying to dox Keffels as well, which I'm sure DGGers have no problem with whatsoever. Um. Anyway, yeah. Uh, it's just uh, genuinely pathetic. I don't. And, I think it's um, funny. <laughs> oh, last thing reminds me of Gamergate. Back in 2014, Gamergate. Uh, you know. But you guys should do it. Big bad. Ban you for big doing bad it, stuff. Okay. And during Gamergate, like 95 percent of the well-intentioned skeptic community like 95 percent of gamergate was full of like well-intentioned people who just wanted to defend you know uh, uh journalistic rights and like games journalism ethics and what have you um and there was the five percent who were like psychotic doxers this was the case every time basically the psychotic doxers would go to like feminist youtubers and like dox them leak all their shit harass them death threats rape threats everything you know? And then when those victims complained about it, the 95%, the concerned trolls, knowing or unknowing, would come in and they would be like, um, how can you paint all of us gamer gators as psychotic doxers? I don't stand with that person, but they all watch the same content creators. So they do. And they all do the same thing and they play the same game. Uh, this is Destiny. This is Destiny's fans. Um, I don't care whether you're one of the psychotic Destiny fans or not, um, at all. Uh, I don't care. Uh, you Brave. all play defense. You're psychotic. Destiny is psychotic. Uh, do whatever you like. That's my uh, word, by topic. the way. Keffels. Uh, Keffels is good. Sure, I disagree with her on a lot of stuff, but uh, I see her on Twitter, and she ratios people, and that makes me laugh. Uh, next subject. Uh, let's see. Pose all that. Uh, oh, right. The Canadian Emergencies Act. Um, is that it? I guess I don't really have much to say here that isn't covered by the Let next subject, which is my place. fans' capriciousness. 
Uh, that's you guys. Um, oh, my fr my fans' capriciousness. Yeah, you guys. Okay. Um, I just have a request for you. Just be, be a little bit more trusting in the future, okay? I know that we have disagreements time and time again. I understand that, and that's fine. That's healthy, okay? But I'm not so concerned with the disagreements. Oh, I'm concerned with the methods through which the disagreements take place, like the, the attitudes that people take. And sometimes it feels like Sometimes it feels like I have to swim, like, upstream to try to fight against the same misconceptions that I deal with outside of my community. The thing that really, really frustrated me more so than anything else was when people in my sub started to judge me based on Cat Black's framing of my private conversation with her, which I genuinely don't understand why... Like, you, like, like, wait a bit, right? Like, I don't, I, I just don't understand, right? Like, why would you... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. That just seems weird to me. I, that, that's it. I just... It's not about disagreeing fundamentally. It's about, um, you know, <sighs> the it. way in which you do it. Okay, last two points. Yep. My own sub count. Uh, obviously, <laughs> it's, been, uh, it's been a bit rocky for a while. We got up, we've gone down. Um, I do think that focusing on building the fortress, the fortress arc, you know, I think the fortress arc is going to be very good for this community. Um, but I want to make it clear that no matter what happens with regards to my channel or my sub count, whether I get to a million or never, whether my channel is deleted or not, I am very, very proud of this community and very proud of the stuff that we have done. Uh, I do not, I cannot over. This one of him fingering Melina on stream as she says to stop. Wait, what is that clip? Is that the hot tub clip? Wait, what the? These people are insane. What the fuck? When he says fortress, he literally just means echo chamber? Yeah. State that, you know? Um, whether, you know, even if all of this were to vanish like a dream tomorrow, I hope it doesn't. New Jesus, Lord, true. Even if it were, um, you know, I could go the rest of my life feeling satisfied that I had, to the best of my ability, positively affected, yeah a good number of people Aww. um millions judging by my my, my analytics but i nice. think we can i think we can do better trillions trillions uh, quadrillions even quadrillions. Um, whatever number is bigger than that hundreds um so that's that and then finally uh oh no sorry two more lefty reddit um as you guys all know uh the entirety of leftist reddit is controlled by a core team of moderators most of whom are tankies who despise me and just auto ban uh basically anyone who speaks positively of me i don't have a solution for this problem uh it's possible that in the future we can attempt to do like coordinated uh uh you know like i don't know mod mail now nah, that sounds super dorky nah nah that's dumb i don't really know what to do about it to be honest there might be some way, some 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 underhanded way of affecting an outcome. It's not like I don't have the influence to do this, you know. Um, yeah, I don't really know how that would be done, though. It is it is very unfortunate. I think ah! probably the best solution early. is to just work on building from within. You know? Okay, I don't care. Do you, how long until Vosh you think gets eaten by all these new quote unquote allies? Because as much as he likes to like virtue signal, he can't. He's not like the ultra fucking. Uh, uh, he's not like the ultra fucking pro progressive woke cuck that he's like the audience he's trying to um, I guess Kurt right now curtail to where well, there's a word that I'm looking for court oh that's the word I'm looking for the audience is trying to court right now I'll put money in before 2023 this year He's so scared of me, dude. Jesus. I appealed last night just because I wanted to find out if Destiny getting permit from Twitch was some kind of like Full Metal Alchemist equivalent exchange thing where like I could somehow wrest myself from the ban through the power of his ban, you know, like to see if there's some sort of universal constant that I can exploit to get back on the platform. But yeah, to, to restore balance, essentially. Uh, if I do get back on Twitch, I'm not going to stream there regularly. I just want the ability to talk to other Twitch streamers, you know? Without I, having to worry that Destiny can come onto a panel and push my shit in. <laughs> because I'm saying some stupid shit like... Um, fucking Anton Scalia is a fucking fascist. <clears throat> you missed the best part of the Vosh video. He begs his chat to participate in offline chat. Wait, does he? Hold on. I... 
Fuck. really got much credit. I don't remember what time in the video we were at. Um, okay, what time are we at? A friend of Keffel's is a pedophile? Because pedophile? she- Um, oh! Same thing, and they play the same game. Uh, this is Destiny. This is Destiny's fans. Um, I don't care whether you're one of the psychotic Destiny fans. Of my private con- Uh, it seems very difficult to- It seems difficult to- to- to pull out of that, to pull through that. But like I said, I think it's about building another narrative, you know? I don't think we can change people's minds by convincing them that they're wrong about their interpretations of me. I think we your can life, get then. them Working to class, think Andy. better of me by giving them something good to focus on, which then might lead them to reconsider the negative perceptions they have of me. And there's a critical difference between those two because one of them is uh, offensive and the other is constructive. Um, in one of them, you attack the narrative they already hold, and in the second, you build a new narrative, a fortress, if you will. Uh, and as people appreciate and admire your We're fortress, the they reconsider. How could a person who has done this, who's done these things, how could they be this bad person I've heard of? What? Uh, I think this is an effective method. I will continue to defend myself against negative uh, perceptions of me. Uh, of course, because um, I am, uh, you know, I, I think that's my right, and I think it's good to do so, and I'm not spineless. Um, but I also think it's important to understand that doing so isn't about changing other people's minds. It's about maintaining my character, the validity of my positions. Um, uh, uh, but it's uh, but it's not about changing their minds. We can change people's minds, uh, and I and I think I think we should work towards that. So I am going to make an effort from here on forth to um uh to to try to get back into a more uh constructive content schedule the main reason for this being honest to god and maybe this sounds conceited i don't think the drama that i talk about is worth my time attention or my or my smarts i genuinely don't um like pointing out that destiny is a rape apologist and a transphobe is below my my intelligence i have as i've said i have outpaced him intellectually and at this point i feel like i'm screaming through like a, a bullhorn at someone half a mile back on the track uh you know it's it's just it's uh, honestly my my voice hurts um it seems like a waste to go on about the jk rowling drama because i feel like my positions have been argued for and i feel like i am borderline self-evidently correct at this point <laughs> given that the insane vitriol towards me went that far and jk rowling's now being endorsed by putin and it might have actually been because of the headlines that she made about me because that's the last time jk rowling made headlines it was because of her beef with me and right after that putin endorses her and i can't help but wonder if he knows who i am maybe possibly like okay oh by the way um, listen, up to this point, I haven't defended the misogyny. If, if Putin knows who I am, I'm defending the misogyny. Okay, I don't care. If, if that's where that road leads, you know, if that, if, if the, if the, if the cosmic scales have tilted in that, you know, fashion, then I don't even care. Whatever brings me there, you know, hell yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I don't want the, uh, yeah, don't want to get suicide in the back of the head for disrespecting his queen, you know? Um, she was his queen and she was crazier than him. Uh, and so on and so on. Uh, you know, however, however that goes. I don't, I don't, I don't know the whole meme bit. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, I, I just, I don't know. I, I feel like, um, I, last thing, yeah. Uh, offline chat. My offline chat. I don't know if you guys know this. My chat is active all the time. Online and offline. You've probably noticed that when the streams end, people in chat start all capsing offline chat. But I'm often looking at offline chat, and I legitimately think that it's really, really cute and cool, and people are just chatting. And uh, when when I have like stuff that I want to talk about, and I'm not streaming, the first place I think to go to is offline chat. So it, it just seems like it's a nice, I don't know, like a just like a very direct sort of continuation of the stream at all times in, in terms of like maintaining the community and the form um so that's nice uh and then finally my last point on this is my own reputation uh the most okay. yeah um anyway i i just i don't know i i feel like um 
I feel like I'm a really smart guy and I genuinely feel like a lot of people bring to me matters of my attention which are just not worth my my time. And it just seems <clears throat> dumb. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Not to say I'm opposed to drama or just like, you know, doing dumb shit or whatever, but I've been like locked in it because it just keeps happening over and over. Like at, over the past two months, the drama has overlapped. You guys noticed that, right? Like it's not just drama, drama. It's the, the, the end of the, 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 the last drama will end only because we start focusing on the next one. It's, it's insane. Um, and it's exhausting and it is cutting into my interest in streaming, not just because it's tiring. Um, which it is, you know, uh, but I can handle that. It's also just a little bit boring. It's just a little bit boring. And it cuts into my ability to do the things that I care about. Uh, and those are my thoughts on this. I love you all very much. This is an excellent community. You can make it better. You! Sub to my channels. Join the Reddit. Stay in offline chat. Go join the Discord. We recently... Uh, added Arcelia and Posadas John. They are the two new head mods. I like them both. Uh, I am confident uh, that they will do a good job running the server. Like the stream, which will soon be a listed video. Um, we'll do more fun stuff soon. Uh, for the Elden Ring streams, uh, by the way, there's a stream at 5 p.m. Uh, today, which begins in four hours. We are talking to some folks. Um, convos, interview, um, maybe a debate later. Uh, I'll be playing Elden Ring. You know how it I've goes. I've been Vosh levels bigger. Um, in the future, I'd like to do more TTS streams, if for no other reason than because tax season is coming up and I'm broke. Uh, oh, and what? we will um, look into ways to further diversify the content that we produce because I feel like we can do a lot more than we're doing now. Get some more debates as well. I love you all very much. You are beautiful people. Take care. And I'll see most of you in four hours and 20 minutes. What did this guy spend $500,000 last year on? Jesus Christ!